All right, here's another thing this little uh, mega joule circuit can do. And uh, I got some negative uh, dislikes on that last video that I did, and I think I may uh, know why. I don't think people, uh, there's probably people that don't understand English, and there wasn't enough self-explanatory stuff in the video to explain that this was um, not a fake. It was, it was a reality situation, but it was showing how a fake could be done. And this is what the Tin Man... Um, third video was showing, but this is the the same circuit that I showed here, the Mega Jewel that uh, Tin Man showed, and uh, it's very very simplistic. It's a one uh, two n uh, three nine oh four npn transistor. Uh, coils are wound together, you wind them all up together, and then it's got these nine LEDs that fly back to the positive rail with a kickback of that coil right there on the collector coil when that circuit is complete it shoots the energy back in a pulse back to the front of the circuit and I was using a 5 farad 2.7 volt super cap that was not a thousand UF 16 volt cap and some people may have looked at that with that funny label and thought that I was trying to deceive them with that label. But that's what that was. And that's if you'd understood the English um, uh, narration, you probably would have understood what was going on. And uh, this was me, and that's when I did this. But I found out if you took the light out of the coil, you just set it aside and then ran a magnet on a mirror on top of that coil, you basically have a Bedini SSG kind of a situation only it's uh, a north-south magnet and look what it does it also runs on a on a double a battery and uh, I ran this thing all night long with that double a battery and it puts out really decent light at about 15 milliamps now when you do this and here again it's it's hard to describe this but uh, it slows the oscillation down and reduces the amp draw and you actually end up with a scenario where it'll it'll light both of the uh, both of the LED lights up and I thought that was very very interesting so I, so I thought I would share that if you take the uh, rotor off the thing is still in self oscillation there's the coil right there when it stops, you gotta self-start it again, and you gotta you gotta hit it with the uh, trigger to the uh, plus rail to get it to go. And this is what somebody uh, was asking about: how did uh, how did Tin Man get it started just by tapping the battery to it? Well, on his capacitor, it was already filled, and he was just tapping the power source across the collector and the uh, coil I believe and that gave a jolt to the transistor base which started the oscillation but uh, this is just a a makeup mirror a con uh, concave makeup mirror and if you put that on there just right and spin this uh, north south ring magnet up on it you get this thing going on This is what it sounds like with the radio. Anyway, I thought that was pretty neat. And of course, it'll run on the on the little capacitor here too. If you put the capacitor in it, uh, see if I can do this here. It'll, of course, charge this uh, 5 fared cap up pretty quick. And then you can take the battery off. Now it's running on the capacitor. No big deal. It's just energy coming out of another source. And on um, Tin Man's video, he had this pre-charged. And that's what made it look like it was running on a little tiny capacitor and... Uh, free energy kind of thing but anyway I just wanted to share that with people that this will also drive a uh, a Bedini kind of situation and uh, that's uh, something I wanted to share thanks for watching